Mr. Freeman, that question to Linda Coleman. Ms. Coleman, the 6th District Court of Appeals recently ruled that the Federal Communications Commission does not have the authority to allow the City of Wilson to provide its green light municipal broadband to the town of Pine Tops in Edgecombe County because of a state statute that limits Wilson's service area to the Wilson County limits. Do you believe municipal broadband agencies should be able to serve communities the private sector is not reaching? How do you feel about cities and towns providing fiber optic broadband connections? I believe that it really is up to the state to put money into the budget for broadband. We have the northeast part of our state, we have the far western part of our state that does not have broadband. We, and there was not a dime in the governor's budget for broadband. And so we need to make sure that we are putting that kind of money into it so that we can provide the access uh, to the internet for education for the children. We need to make sure that we are uh, looking at everything in a fair manner. We need to make sure that we can provide those, whether it's the city or anyone. The internet and the information, the broadband, it is absolutely critical. That's part of the infrastructure for business. If you don't have that infrastructure, you're not going to get any business that's going to come here because that's going to be one of the requirements. So whatever we need to do, that's an issue that we need to work on. I sit on the State Board of Education and I chair the Special Committee uh, for Digital Technology of the State Board of Education. So this all falls under my purview and it's about connectivity in schools. And uh, I made multiple trips to Washington, D.C. to meet with the FCC and the leaders of the FCC. We met with the chairman, we met with the commissioners, and we said, you know what, Mr. Chairman, you have an opportunity for North Carolina to be a first in the nation. North Carolina will actually be the first state in the United States of America to have every single classroom connected to high-speed broadband and have one-to-one -one devices in the hands of the children. We made those trips to D.C. to convince the commissioners of that. So we took $20 million that we already had in the state budget for broadband. We added another $12 million to that in the last session. And then we leveraged $64 million from the federal government so that we can get every single classroom, not school, my friends, every single classroom in the state of North Carolina connected to high-speed broadband. That's the first step. The first step is to get your schools and your, your county buildings, your municipal buildings connected to broadband, and then you go to the last mile after that. And now we're working on the last mile approach, and we believe that that is really the best solution is a public-private partnership where you have the, the government come in and you, they help with the infrastructure, the, the infrastructure cost of laying the fiber, and then you allow, once that cost is incurred, then you allow the private industry to come in and run it. When, municipal, uh, uh, when municipalities have been engaged in running broadband around the country, it's been a miserable failure. What you've had is you have the cost being driven up because competition goes away. So your Verizons and Comcast of the world say, we're not going to come in and try to compete with the government who, who is not a a good competitor and so they don't ever come in you want competition to come in to drive down costs ultimately now I can say to answer your question directly Corey from the beginning if that's never going to happen and you don't see that happening then I think the municipality should have the right to provide a service to their citizens